Hi everybody, it's Fragrant Jock here. Hope everybody's safe and well. Uh, today's honest opinion is on another KDJ. Um, as I say, this company I've went through quite a few of their fragrances, and to me, some of the really expensive niche they do with the rosiers, as far as I'm concerned, are quite close, if not just you know identical and just as good as the originals and it's a no-brainer for me rather than paying thousands of pounds or 800 pounds i'm going to get a clone and uh, no matter what the oil is i know i've seen some gentleman on the youtube the other day and he was going on about what uh, how the clone companies he wasn't even going on about this company but he was saying mostly about alexandria and Dua how they use cheap oils well at the end of the day, do we know what any of the companies put in their fragrances? And we know the big ones are ripping us off anyway. So, at the end of the day, for me, in my honest opinion, if it smells the same as the originals, no matter what oil's in it and lasts as long, then I'm going to buy it. It's a no-brainer for me, you know what I mean? Unless you've got that expensive budget and you like the expensive packaging and bottles. But the big companies are ripping us off just as much as the clone companies. Anyway, today's honest opinion is on this one by KDJ, and it's Diagalev. Diagalev, it's called. It's called. It's uh, the the definition of the the name is it's Russian. It, it, it's Russian ballet. It's got to do with. Um, anyway, this is a rosier. And it's obviously an inspired expression. It's a 50% oil again. Um, I got this today. So I usually leave them a couple of days to settle. But initially I usually spray it on anyway just to see. But I think you're better leaving them. Especially these comfy Bolton. So if you're in Britain I would leave them for at least 2-3 to three days in a cool place just to settle. Um, it usually works for me. There's a melange of notes in this. Cumin, bergamot, lemon, lime, orange. There's loads, but this is a, again. This is a fifty percent oil. Now I had a sample of the original this, and I had the Dua version, and I sold the Dua version. But to me, this is just as good as the Dua. I sprayed it on, uh, about the, you know my forearm, and I went in for a shower, and I could still smell it when I came out. And usually I leave them for a couple of days and it really is close to that. I've still got the sample of the Dua uh, and it really is close to that. And again, it's a lot cheaper than the Dua and it's 50% oil and it's a 50ml. Um, as I say, no frills packaging, but the bottles are decent. The sprayers are a bit iffy at times, but you know, you just you know clean it out a bit and it usually works. Um, maybe it's because it's oil and it's blocking it. There is a melange of notes in this, you know, like Styrex and Civet and Cedarwood. But what I get off it is, it's quite dark and it really is quite deep. Um, for me, I get the, and there's leather in it as well. I get a lot of the leather and the Civet. It's, it's that similar smell to Leighton Exclusive. Um, not that it's anything like it, but it's quite a... You can smell right away, it's a it's got a luxurious kind of smell, it's got that rosia kind of smell, that kind of expensive smell it's got, that all rosiers have. Um, and it really is quality for what you're paying for, and it's very close to the Dua, and it's very close to the original. I think the Dua retails for about 65 Sixty-five dollars. By the time you pay for it, it's probably about forty-five to fifty pounds. So this is a better option with fifty mLs, and it's very, very close um, to the Dua and the original. Um, it really is a lovely fragrance. I would say, season-wise, you could get away with this in a cool night, but I would say it's more for the autumn and the winter. It cuts through quite nicely, but as I say, I'd add another. I had to do it on the, the sample and I know that because I wore them in the in, in the darker nights. But this is a really lovely fragrance and I would totally recommend it uh, from KDJ. Sorry, the camera's just kind of 
slip in there. As I say, I'm not going to buy a lot of designers of KDJ because I'll end up just buying the originals. I'm more or less with clone companies, I go for the really expensive uh, like Rosiers and things like that, Louis Vuitton to try because again they're just out of my price range um, and I, I, I get, this is one of the ones that I wanted to try and it's very very close. The only one that was disappointing to me was the Oligarve and it was just my taste, it was, it was just the fact it was too lit to have the MS. But every other Rosier, Britannia, absolutely gorgeous scent. KDJ's version is gorgeous as well. I've not, they do a Sheepera Extraordinaire, but they only do it in the 22% oil. I wish they would do it in the 50% oil because that's another one on my hit list. Um, I've got the Dua version of that and it really is luxurious as well. Uh, Dua's version of the Bird Off exclusive Love um, it's called My Love it's a lovely fragrance as well but this one equally is up there with them um, really is a lovely fragrance Hawks Lux is another one really expensive uh, Perfume Parlour do an extract version of Hawks Lux and it really is lovely it's just as good as a KDJ version it really is a, a well worth scent to get. It's a, again, if you're not bothered about the packaging and things like that, and it's just a juice like me, then you get some less rather than shell out £800 for Daggy, Daggy Left. It really is a lovely fragrance. Anyway, I hope everybody's going to have a great weekend. Bye for now.